Hello, welcome to me. It's been a while. Just gonna update you on a quick couple things. I have a single out. It's called Small Foreign Faction. You can stream it on iTunes, Spotify. You can buy it. On Bandcamp, it's also a part of my EP Let Yourself Go, which is out April 7th. And you can pre-order that if you so please through Bandcamp. I'll link it all down below, but go listen to the song, go add it to all your playlists, go crazy on it, tag me in your Insta stories. Love that. I also have merch that'll be dropping really soon that I'm wearing. This is just the t-shirt version. There's gonna be hoodies, crew necks, and it's a limited time offer official EP merch. So this is just a lot of information of things that will be, you know, not quite yet. Not quite, never. I'm done. On to, on to the rest of this. So it's been a while since I posted a video. So much snow, so much snow that it's sewing. So much so that it's snowed. It's been a full year. We're back, it's Christmas 2018. Thought I'd post a video and I was like, what should it be? You wanted something with food. You wanted something with food. And I said, I can do that. I eat that. Hello, I'm only human. Uh, but then I realized there was a chair in my, the middle of my room, my kitchen. I don't sleep here. Some, some, okay, sometimes I sleep there. So I wanted to do something with food, but then I realized I don't really want to buy groceries and I'm happy with just eating the rest of these corn pops for the next week. So I thought, how can I give you what you want without spending any money at all? So what I'm gonna do is show you what I eat vegan on a complete budget using what I just find in my house. So let's go. It's 2 p.m. but let's just pretend it's breakfast and I know for sure I have some freezer burned fruit in here. Found it. Let's start with a smoothie. Four fruit blend, four fruit blend, peaches, strawberries, pineapples, and mango. You're in luck that I bought spinach like last week. And I'm gonna use the rest of this organic almond beverage that tastes almost too much like almonds. Do you know what I mean? Like, almond milk is great. I love almond milk. And I've never had this brand before I bought it because it was $2.50. It tastes too much like almonds. And I didn't know that that was a concern of mine. I also forgot I have frozen bananas. So we're good in the breakfast forefront. I'm gonna, what I usually add to my, I know this is on a budget, you don't need to do this, but I just have these laying around and I add some maca powder to my smoothies. Take two, take two of these, drop one, take two of these, open them up, put it in your, put it in your smoothie and have a maca Monday. It's Monday. So yeah, this is just my complete on a budget video, guys. Make sure you buy your $50 container of maca powder and, and use three of them because money is not, it is no object. We're gonna add that up. Add it up. One, two, three, four. Mm. And you can barely taste the capsule I dropped in there. So breakfast is done. I'm usually good. I go to the smoothie or some oatmeal in the morning. But when the clock strikes lunch, that's where we get a little tricky. So until that time comes, enjoy your smoothie. Enjoy your freaking smoothie. All my greens. Eat your greens. Love your greens. Apparently you're supposed to sing to your greens, so. Why are you dying all the time? I thought I saved you. This one's looking pretty good. I left you outside in the rain for a weekend. And I think I may have drowned you. Look at this. The lilies are blooming. Isn't this a flower's penis? <sighs> Definitely worked. I expect two times growth on my desk by Tuesday. All right, time to see how the other half lives. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, we got some spinach. Definitely gonna use that great lunch material. Garlic. I have an onion. I have some tofu. Definitely good. Veggie dogs. And some miso paste. 
I can work with this. I can definitely work with this. And then over here, we have some linguine, rice, lentils. I'm really good on like the dry, I always stock up on dry stuff. I have a lot of rice, I have a lot of lentils, like a lot, three bags. Quinoa, some coconut milk, some vermicelli noodles, a bunch of vermicelli noodles. Oh, and some chickpea and black beans. All right, but let's get back to the heart of the matter here. I definitely want to use this. I think there's a lot that I could do with the miso paste for lunch and dinner. Already the gears are turning. I don't know if I'll use the hot dogs. I feel like these should be, are better saved for like a drunken night. I have an English muffin. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna either eat this this weekend or tonight while I'm crying over Queer Eye. I think what I want to make is a miso soup for lunch. Do I have vegetable stock? <gasps> There's one. If we press some tofu, get some soup going, chop up some spinach. And I don't have green onions, I wish I do, but I'm gonna finally chop this white onion. simmering for a while. I'm supposed to take some broth, pour it in. I think this is gonna be really good. Now I just pour it in. That's miso soup. That's miso soup. Next day. Because I guess I can't make myself three square meals in a day, I have to, I truly have to break it up. But last night I did make some pasta that I just didn't feel was worthy of showing you. It was just noodles. I guess that's just what it was, just nothing exciting. I, I did make a miso sauce though, with a little bit of Dijon and garlic. It's nice, I'm using the miso to my advantage. Miso hungry right now though. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make uh, some sort of a Buddha bowl. With my special ingredient, you'll never know what it is. It's miso. It's miso paste. Although I'm so hungry, I just want that leftover pasta. <laughs> You're so lazy. Can you use some quinoa? Does this go bad? Used by July 6, 2017. That actually makes a lot of sense. The smell of garlic when the sun's out is so nostalgic and just makes me so happy. Reminds me of like barbecues and stuff. Also like totally reassures me that I'm completely safe from vampires. Like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm in the clear. I added some soy sauce to the tofu and it's looking good. I'm gonna make the sauce. This is from the pasta that I made last night. It's just Dijon and miso paste. But I'm gonna add some tahini and maybe some hot sauce. I'm um, gonna add some spinach to the tofu when the quinoa's almost done. It's still cooking away, probably another 10 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, guys, this is such an easy meal. I've only been doing it for about 10 minutes, so it's about 20 minute prep and cook time. So there's no excuses. Oh, and I have the chickpeas ready. Mmm. Mmm. I just realized I don't like quinoa. I want rice. I think I might make rice instead. Cooking up the spinach with the tofu. You guys, I don't have TV, like cable, so I don't know why, but for some reason I have the phrase moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis. Just going through my head. Constantly in my head. Moderate to severe, moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis. And now for my final trick. I'm off to get a donut. I think I deserve a donut. 
I haven't had a donut in years and I've been dreaming, thinking, and uh, singing about donuts for about a week. And so I think that um, a nice ending to this video would be me receiving said donut. Back on my bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did I give you permission to film it? No, I'm sorry. I like to see